also, I haven't been able to take a lush bath in a really long time. So here's my granny takes a dip. Um, with my back, it's really hard for me to get in and out of the bathtub. So every time I fall, I can't bend over. So it's really, really hard. Um, in the bath so far, there was just a little bit. My um, comforter crumbled a bit, so that's what's bubbling up in the bath. And then I got a piece of each peach massage bar from the bath milk. So it's literally been like four or five months since I've been able to get down into the bathtub, so it's been really sad. Very depressing because everyone knows my lush bath is my me time. The time when the kids don't bug me and I get to enjoy myself and just have mommy time. That's really pretty. I love the pink. And then the blue and the green. Because they remade this into a bubble bar so I'm just using up uh, obviously. I haven't been into my lush store and probably just as long um obviously i haven't needed to buy new stuff it's only whatever i've been using in my shower i got my like little pots up there and then i have other stuff i bring in that i keep on my dresser i don't keep my lush stuff in the bathroom unless they're in pots <laughs> everything else I keep in my nice dry bedroom so that's like taking a really long time to um and I got my Santa scrubby thing I don't usually scrub my legs in the bath I usually do it in the shower but like I said with my back still being broken um I can't really stand that great here for you over there. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love the comforter. The granny takes a dip is like really spicy. But kind of like like a sweet tart. There's like spicy pepper, but then there's like sweet like sweet tarts. I don't know. I haven't actually I have one of the bubble bars, but I haven't used it yet. But I like to use my stuff in order. I don't usually, well, I use them in the order they're given to me or that I buy them. Because otherwise, they're, um, bleh. See, this is why I need my back operated on my brain stops working. They said because my three crushed vertebrae are squishing my spine so much that all the electrical pulses don't get to my brain so sometimes they don't get from my brain to my body so sometimes my legs go completely numb and I don't feel it and I hit the ground like a ton of bricks I've sprained my wrist so bad I couldn't move my hand for like three weeks I've ripped all the skin off my knees you can see it looks pink that's because it's like skin that never gets in the sun because literally the whole thing ripped off. It weeped for four days before it would scab like it was that. There was no skin for it to scab. So it's bad. But they said as long as I can still feel my legs, it's a miracle. They said the fact that I can walk is still a miracle. And the day I fall and I can't feel my legs anymore is the day they're going to do the surgery emergency. But I have, when I went in to get my surgery, it was supposed to be over spring break. And when I went in for my pre-op, they found during a CAT scan that I needed two other surgeries. So they said I have to do those surgeries first in order to fix my back. So they said, I don't know why, um, apparently my esophagus is in my stomach, which is why, um, I'm puking all the time like I constantly puke and throw up it's really gross but um, they said they have to fix they have to do one surgery I have to heal for six weeks then they can fix my hernia so the first one's not till October it's right after my birthday um, and then I do then I have to heal for six weeks then they can schedule my hernia surgery 
I don't know how your esophagus, like, all of a sudden one day gets too long and ends up in your stomach, but, um, I don't know. So, <coughs> and then I do my, and then after that surgery, I get my hernia. Once the hernia is fixed, I have to wait six weeks. Then they reschedule my back surgery. So, unless, of course, I, um, obviously can't feel my legs anymore, then they're like, then it's an emergency and they'll do it all right away. But let's see. Oh, it smells beautiful. I always like the sweet and spicy together. So here's my beautiful pink, bright pink. It's like a bubblegum pink bass. On my bubbles. It's beautiful. So I gotta lay back and really enjoy this. I got my son's tablet. I gotta watch a movie on Showbox and lay back and enjoy my beautiful lush bath that I haven't been able to enjoy for so long. Trust me, this is luscious. This is my heaven. And I am so glad I got in the bath. And I timed it so that when I have to get out, my husband will be home and he can help me get out. Well, obviously, I spend like two to four hours in my bath. I just keep adding hot water. So he'll definitely be home by the time I'm done and he can help me stand up and get out because I can't roll over onto my knees and stand up. <laughs> it's, I'm like a, a sack of potatoes. Like, So everything is beautiful because I'm in my bath. And I got my, I'm like almost done my chow chows. I only use them when I'm in the bath because... Um, my dentist said because there's no fluoride in them that I needed to use. You can't really see it up there because it's upside down. But I got the, um, what is it called? Oh, I can't even remember the Pro Health by Crest. He said to use that toothpaste, which is like five bucks a tube, and that mouthwash because the Pro Health Zero has no alcohol, no nothing, so it's safe for kids. That's what I make my kids use because otherwise they like wanted to drink the bubblegum flavored stuff. So it's supposed to keep you from getting cavities. So they said these are good for your gums, um, but they said that because there's no fluoride in them, they are not good for your enamel. So when I'm in the bath, I use my um, tablets, and when I'm in the shower, I use the Pro Health Crest because that's what my dentist suggested. And I'm still trying to use up my Fresh Face Pharmacy. And I went through all the Fresh Face um, soaps because I used to get all these little tiny um, like pimples on my forehead. And I ended up having to go on Wish and ordering extruders it's like this long metal pole that's got like a little circle on the end and you literally it feels like a razor blade you like pull it across your face it feels like a razor blade but it all the little tiny zits go boop 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 i couldn't find any soap anywhere that would make the little tiny zits go away i've had them for probably a decade I've been trying to get rid of them and since I've used the extruder I barely get zits on my forehead now so um, I found out of using all the Fresh Face Pharmacy I like their new um, all the lush fresh uh, <laughs> face washes I found that I like the new one um, the Moes the, it smells kind of like bread and it's brown and it's really soft and um, it feels really good on your face and that's the one I found that's my favorite um, but um, I still have pieces of my fresh face pharmacy so I'm still using them I got a little little Tupperware up there that I keep my little pieces of face washing so I'm gonna lie back I'm rambling because I haven't made a video in forever and I'm going to enjoy this bath and turn on a movie and relax